Hi everyone. I don't really do much talking nowadays. Um, yes, you do. Do I? Yeah. Anyway, um, you may or may not have noticed there has been some developments. Uh, we now have doors for our cupboards that actually work. Um, yep, so we've got cupboards that work. We have also just got, and I mean just got by, what I mean by just got is yesterday, uh, picked up our worktops um, on our worktop panels. They need a bit of work. Mm -hmm. The worktops need work. But um, I it's... think in terms of the raw kind of raw sizes and um, what we're dealing with, I think it's perfect. It's Scandinavian pine. 16 mil thick, so not too thick, nice and light for worktops, but I think it looks really effective. We have yep. to um, do some little cutting. Do you want to explain that then? Yeah, so there's just a couple of bits that we need to cut out, but do you want to explain that then? <laughs> um, there's just a couple of bits that uh, need to get cut back just so that it's perfectly aligned and what have you. Um, but the hob is going to go here, so I need to mark that out I've got a wee template somewhere so i need to mark that out and also we're going to sand it down make it nice and rounded mm -hmm. and then we're going to paint it as well well i say paint it we're going to wax it and more like a treatment isn't it and it's a gray treatment um it's a kind of natural they call it a natural wax we got recommended it by the guy that actually sold us the worktops um effectively you'll still see the wood it's like everything else in the man you'll still see the wood color and um, the wood grain and um, but it'll just be kind of nicely stained but that's pretty much it clock back in when uh we've when actually, we've done, actually some actually work. done something sink and for the tap and does the tap fit let's see does it fuck eh, eh. pretty standard for us <laughs> let's try again so we're just um putting in this sort of dividers between the cupboards on this unit this one i know i'm wearing socks socks and sandals <laughs> it's so comfy um, this cupboard here is for going to be like the gas locker because um, the hob's going to be here so we're trying to make this um, specific gas cupboard we've got a little one here that we think we'll use for wine not that we drink a lot but a couple of bottles of red in there will be nice and then we've got a few others so I think we've got quite a lot of storage um, but after we've secured this one we can Put our worktop on, which we are just um, securing with yeah, brackets. Your foot on there. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we we will attach the worktop just to these brackets here, and then this cupboard will be finished, which is amazing. Hi everyone. So here is our 100 year old jam pan turned, <laughs> turned sink. So I've got my 100 year old jam pan and I've got my one day old plug hole that I have drilled the hole out of. Uh, it was a bit of a fucking nightmare to be honest. Um, just because the metal's so thin in parts. Um, that's the that's the underside of where it's had a hundred years of being exposed to fire, basically. Um, so yeah, cut that out haphazardly. Managed to file it a wee bit, and then all I did was set this brushed brass, um, this brush pass sink assembly um, or drain assembly in, and then what if I flip it over? <coughs> so 
screwed this piece in through the plug hole as, as best as I could, as tight as I could. I've got a rubber gasket in here and then there's a foam gasket from underneath. Then just to just to make sure that it actually works um, and creates a good seal, I've put a good bead of Sika Flex 522. This stuff, yeah, 522. Um, yeah, I've put a good bead of that around, um, just around the edge where the seal is, and hopefully that'll do us. Um, bear in mind that it's only going to be cold water that we're running. Um, yes, there'll be hot water, but it'll be coming from the kettle, so there won't be permanently hot water in this pan or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with it. It's not, again, like everything else with this bloody van, it's not perfect. Cheers. Hi guys, right, just to give you a bit of an overview of the water system that we've put together. Uh, I tried to keep it as simple as possible, um, but as always with us, uh, simple isn't always possible. <laughs> that does not rhyme. <laughs> uh, so, basically, I bought a Sureflow sure flow, um, Trail King 7, I think it is, 7 litres a minute. Uh, bit of kit. It's all hooked up electrically. I had done a few bits and bobs on the uh, on the water system before, um, but that didn't work. Just using hose. So what have I what I've done is I've put some push fit um, JG speed fit or push fit um, tubing into this tank here. Sika flexed it up and then used a bit of sanitary sika sanitary adhesive or silicon. Um, used that. It's connected up to a, a garden hose hose tail. Come on. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so it should be quite easy to lift out, go yep. and fill it, and then replace it. So the idea, yeah, we should be able to just pull that out and go and fill it up. Water comes up through here through this little strainer and into the pump. Then the other idea, I've done exactly the same but on the opposite end, is there'll be a, the bottom of the tap will end up here, comes through the pump, where's our tap? Tap's here, under there, but the hose tail for that, the same thing that you see on the water tank, there we go, sorry it's Sunday. Uh, the the hose tail that you see in the water tank is also underneath the 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 tap, so it should all should in theory all work. So we're pumping the water. Mhm. Mm right. <laughs> right, so it'll continue to pump until there's no water in, left in the system. Right. Well, hey! hey! <laughs> We've got water! So that's it, there's water. So that's the air out of the pump. Yep. Oh, that's fucking great. Yay! So the worktop is secured. We've got our hob, let's see if it'll fit. Is that the right way? Knobs to that end? Knobs to the left. Knobs to the wall. <laughs> Balls to the walls. Imagine it didn't. Don't fuck me. <laughs> yeah? Success lads! Success lads!
worktops in situ, water system works, tap is secured, cabinets are pretty much done. Yep, cabinets are done. The hob needs to be secured. Inverter's um, gone boom, but the... The inverter's uh, absolutely gubbed. Uh, but that's... But the cables are managed well. Mm -hmm. Done some good cable management. Um, really, really, I mean, like we've said, we're planning to go away not next weekend, but the following for our one year anniversary. So we are cutting it fine. However, we've went through like a list and I think we'll make it. Yep. I think so. We've Give us a deadline and we will ham it up. We will. So probably say maybe one more vlog of the van. Sure it's going to go through the electrics a bit more in detail because we haven't really done that and to be honest it's quite intricate so I'm going to you know let you um, have Hand a dedicated video of your own to go through what you've done there. Yep. And then a wee bit on the last minute things like bed slats, putting the mattress in, etc. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's been a it's been a bloody good weekend. Uh, we've got a lot of good stuff done, a lot of little jobs done that we knew had been looming over us. We got a good milestone done. Uh, milestone done. We reached a good milestone by getting those worktops on, um, mm -hmm. secured in. They look really, really good. Um, fantastic, actually. Um, can't fault them, can't fault them at all. So they'll be perfect. Um, so yeah, we're uh, you've been with us for nine, ten vlogs now. Mm -hmm. um, if you like what you see, uh, click like and subscribe and all that nonsense. Follow us on um, Insta. And you can all follow that. us on Instagram. I don't. We haven't got a Facebook, have we? No. Uh, <laughs> we've got an. Yep, yeah, we've got an Instagram, uh, and yeah. yeah. Thank you and. See you next time. Smashing.